I keep on thinking about the words How you say them when they hurt I turn them inside out to see If there's a hidden message for me I'm hoping, I'm wishing that one day you listen So we can connect again I'm feeling the purpose I know we're not perfect But my soul is reaching out I'm gonna hand you the truth Hello everyone, so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just want to uh, do, go through quickly about the setting of uh, my photo shoot today with Victoria. And uh, as you have seen that I, I was uh, shooting some of the fall autumn style and um, I did some adjustment to the um, auto white balance uh, red 4 blue minus 4 so that um, even I'm using the auto white balance, uh, I set it to the more warm tones, uh, leaning toward the warm tone, so that when I'm shooting the uh, the leaves, they look nicer. Because the auto white balance for the Fuji frame, if you set it in the center by default, it has a lot of magenta and colder tone uh, right out of the gate. So um, it's better to set it minus four. It depends on your preference. You can just set along this line right here. You can set minus two or minus three just for try it out. 
and um, for the setting um, basically they are similar um, the only thing I change is um, this one plus one uh, plus one tone plus one highlight and then plus one shadow and then the color I added three just I just want those leaves uh, to pop up more so um, you can based on your preference you can set uh, plus one or plus two uh, it doesn't matter it uh, it depends on the scene so uh, for this shoot I bump it up a lot uh, usually I do plus one but um, I mean if you should draw it doesn't matter but this one I just want to see right out of the JPEG uh, what I get so um, right out of that because the uh, shadow shadow and the tone the tone curve plus one um, let me show you the pre-recorded um, so uh, if, if you look nicer with the contrast and um, other things I didn't change um, these couple things I changed uh, right there oh the other thing I changed uh, it was um, the color chrome effect I changed uh, from off to weak and then the blue from the um, off to weak I think uh, I saw a blog post talking about this one to make the blue darker uh, it acts, uh, acts like the uh, filter so that uh, it filter out the brightness of the sky so that it looks blue um, so I just want to try out experiment these two just to see how it goes and then um, auto white balance I did that and tone curve you can see that highlight plus one shadow plus one and you can see that the tone curve uh, it will like this usually like this if you add a little bit more contrast and I think for the next shoot I might just um, uh, do it uh, half half uh, both uh, half shadow and then half uh, uh, highlight so just to make it not that strong for the next time I noticed some of the area in the dark uh, area it's uh, very strong um, so that's my experiment on the, this new setting and then the um, last thing to uh, show you it was just this one the uh, R4, B4 so minus 4 so the blue minus 4 the red 4 so it go this way and then go down uh, minus 4 uh, for the axis so um, that's the changes that I made for this photo shoot especially for the four color um, that I was aiming so that's why I pump up uh, bump up the uh, color saturation to three in camera so just to try it out and then uh, let me know how uh, what's your opinion and then uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, and then thanks so much for your support thanks uh, I will have more video coming up bye